He'll look to throw. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. Touchdown, Chicago! Their dangerous wide receiver, 30 yards. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll get in for the two points, and in so doing, cut the deficit to two points. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. And we get a glance at this defense again. And even though that last drive yielded points, it was a long field goal, so they probably weren't too upset about it. Although here, obviously, they'd like to give up zero. Of course, it, that's the goal each and every time out. But when when they make that type of a field goal that long, they always give a little nod of respect to the kicker. Like, congratulations. But you do feel pretty good about not giving up anything big. Yeah, and we'll see if they can not give up anything big on this drive. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves his sticks. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is a now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle. He can really see everything clear. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways. Right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. They'll run with Miller. And some room to maneuver. Cuts it out to the sideline. And he's going to go out of bounds. He takes this one down shy of the 20. A big pick up there on the run. 31 yards. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside hand up there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Still an important piece of business to take care of the extra point. And that might just seal the deal here. It makes it a two score game with not a lot of time on the clock. Now it's Novak on. He'll send this one away following the touchdown. To return, this now Jacoby Jones. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And heading back onto the field now, the Texans' defense. They're just looking for one final stop here, put a capper on this affair. Get this game over with. That's all <laughs> that the message. About. It's that simple. Finish this thing off, and let's get to the locker room and celebrate. Celebration, that's what they're hoping to do soon, but still a little work to do. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, he'll drop the throw. That's complete to Sharp. Touchdown, Chicago! A big play there. 61 yards. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert, and then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, so this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes, look at your timeouts, make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted, so many things to go through. This is taken at the three, and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the defense heading back out here on the road. They do have all three timeouts remaining, but a first down likely ends this thing. 
and it looks like they are to coin the phrase on the defensive here, right? But in fact, now defensively here, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. stoppage here. We'll get another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. On third down. Miller. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Here's Jones. Nearly a huge return, as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock, so... Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. And yeah, they're going to speed things up here. Back to throw. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. He's back to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it, you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter, get feel pretty good as a defense. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I can't help but marvel at how calm these field goal kickers seem to be in situations like this. You know I'm shaking up here like a leaf, and I don't have to kick it. <laughs> and his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. They isolate Hopkins on the All left right, side. They'll look to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. A gain of six there on first. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they're going to the pro ball are DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third and four. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Here we go. Green, 39. One last shot for Oswald. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Morgan Burnett. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Play. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.